that right there was serious to me. But I'd like to know how you got the authority to tell people they couldn't come back here on the 23rd of April if they came up here last night to talk. And the reason, the reason I ask you that question is because I would have thought that it would have been less simple to say, okay, we've canceled this meeting. The meeting is canceled. Now, anybody that wants to vent to the, to the people that were here last night, take a half hour, take an hour, and let them come up and tell you what the problem was having sat here and following them out when they get here that that meeting had been canceled on Thursday. Instead of, you just let them say what they want to say. That would have been simple. But not with the exclusion that if you walk up here, you're done. You do not come back to a public hearing. I don't know where that came from. I don't even know if he has authority to do it. But I, we re it, this is really frustrating to sit out there at the council and listen to that. And to listen how the, council, the uh, planning commission member was treated when he was trying to find out if they have the right to discuss whether or not they have reason to, to move forward with a public with a okay. hearing. If, if, if I could respond to that sure. first, with respect to um, the commission member, Paul, um, there were two things. One was that it, I did not understand that he wanted to have discussion of the um, matter that was on the agenda. The only matter on the agenda was to continue or not continue the hearing. Right. And the chair asked for discussion on that issue several times, whether or not the hearing should be continued. So there was opportunity to discuss that item. Commission Member Hall was attempting to address the substance of the proposal, and it was not before the commission and that was called out of order. And I believe appropriately so because there was already a motion on the table or on the floor. There was a motion that had been made and seconded uh, regarding the continuance of, of the public hearing. And therefore his attempt to then bring another motion before there had been a vote was out of order and that was appropriate. Um, the, and I, I can't speak to anything else as to whether people were shouting at him. I, I know, I understood that the commission members were attempting to get his attention. Um, but other than that, I can't speak to that. The issue about um, having people come up and comment then afterwards, what I was attempting to tell people and the commission or the chair had um, already said that if you are available and can come on the public hearing, and on the night of the public hearing, um, then you need to come back. And only if you're not available, I'm going to allow you to speak. Um, and, he was, and he was proposing to do that last night. I told uh, the people who were present that they should not do that. Um, Essentially, if there was any possibility of them coming back to that public hearing, they needed to be present at the public hearing because that is the formal process for getting things on the record in this proceeding. Statements that are made at stray meetings that haven't been noticed for that purpose um, and where a public hearing hasn't been opened that's not the appropriate forum to make their comments a part of the city record. And I was also concerned that they would rely on that, make their comments, and then... And uh, it's been an honor to 